And the uh, folks from Martinsburg High School, the Good Time Show Choir, which is uh, one of the marquee programs at Martinsburg High School. These uh, these folks are amazing. They come in at least once a year, and they are they always blow me away. Uh, and we've gotten to know them pretty well over the years because of their performances, uh, both on this show and, of course, in what they do uh, elsewhere. For a couple of years before COVID, they did Christmas concerts in studio. We packed 25, 30 kids in here. They would sing to their heart's content for about an hour of Christmas uh, songs. It was awesome. It was, it was amazing. Uh, Meg, why don't you slide the microphone to you first, and uh, we'll get you to tell everybody what's going on here. This is Meg Whitler from the Good Time Show Choir. Meg, good morning. Thanks for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Uh, we just wanted to share, we have a competition coming up this weekend, Friday and Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. We've got a number of schools coming to perform, um, and I know our senior leaders here have a lot of information to share with you about that. And since they have the experience here, they're going to tell you about all the different groups that are arriving um, to share music in our schools. All right, Emerson, the mic is closest to you right now, so why don't you go ahead and lead us off and tell us what the show is that you folks are doing. Yes, so at our home competition, we have about 11. So on Friday night, it's just going to be concert and chamber choirs. So we have um, about 11 coming on Saturday that are all show choirs. So Saturday is like... What's the difference between a show choir and a chamber choir? Yeah, so show choir is um, singing and dancing. It's mm -hmm. like a complete show. Um, the chamber and concert choir that's on on Friday, sorry, is just um, standing there and singing. Okay, and so. Riley? Yes, yeah, so basically... Just like Emerson said, we have a lot of schools coming this year, a lot of talent and great performances on Saturday, and just the normal chamber choirs on Friday. I'm excited to see all these different shows perform. Now, this fellow across from you, when he was a little older than you folks, actually... And your age. <laughs> <laughs> just a little older. Actually did this on network television on, on what... Uh, it was I think the Perry Como show. Yeah. Now, these are people you probably wouldn't know, but to put it in, in you know, if you think of like whoever the biggest pop stars are now mm -hmm. in your life, uh, back then these were who they were 40, 50 years ago. And John, when he was in college, went on some big time shows, Christmas specials, and whatever on network television, wow. and and did this kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So, if you play your cards right, you too can be a New York Times bestselling author. <laughs> And my co-host someday. There you go. And, and that and, and that is the honor in that order. In that order. In that order. In that order. Yeah. So, all right. So the the schools that are competing, they're all high school. Com mm -hmm. and we are, have where are they coming from? Middle schools as well. Um, yeah, we have both high schools and middle schools. Um, so we have some local schools coming, like Spring Mills and Hedgesville are both going to be there. Um, we also have North Middle School, who's going to com be competing Saturday morning. And then we have a few um, other choirs from around the tri-state area. We have um, Powhatan High School is a big one that's coming from Virginia. We have um, a few from West Virginia. We have South Harrison, and we also have um, a few from Virginia, like Matoica, and we also have Amherst. So there's choirs coming from all over um, the tri-state area to come to our competition, so we're very excited. So you two, are you show choir or chamber choir? We're show choir. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right. Emerson is tech, and then I'm a singer-dancer in it. So yeah. Okay. We do it all. <laughs> so who are the, the – are you allowed is, – is it – do you give up your competitive edge if you reveal what program you're doing or who the composers are or anything like that? No, we already had our reveal at the beginning of this year, and we've been competing um, several times throughout the year already. So do you want to kind of explain what our show is? Yeah, so our show this year is called Welcome to Our Little Town. Um, it's about two travelers, which are the leads. I'm one of the travelers, and we get lost in the woods, and we come across, like, this magical kingdom, and we just go through the different towns, and there's different evil characters that try to lure us to the evil side, and... Throughout the show, we just decide whether we want to stay with the evil or turn around and well, find our original way home. music. It sounds a lot like this show here. In yeah. fact, <laughs> every day. run away, run away. Yeah. We, we've gone to the evil <laughs> side. <laughs> side. <laughs> Got to make a decision every show. Is this original music, or are you are you stitching together we existing have, songs? We do have existing songs, but they're arranged in kind of a show choir-y way that fits our show. So it's it's something that you 
already might know, but then uh, with a fun twist on it of like something you've never heard before. So now, how many are we talking about for both the show choir and the chamber choir? Are we in the show choir, we have about 60 students 60. all together okay. because we have, um, there's kind of like three aspects of the group. It's the singer dancers, which is the biggest part. Um, obviously the people who are doing in, the singing and dancing. And then we have the band, the show band. So we play the music live there. We don't um, have a track. And then the stage crew, which does all of the lighting and the props and stuff like that. So What about the chamber? How many is on the chamber? We have, yeah. um, our Coraliers are hosting the Friday night, and how many Coraliers are There's there this not, year? We don't have too many. It's probably about six, five, to ten, but our normal yeah. choir classes do have 15, I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Do you ever have anybody participate in both the chamber and the show choir? They're yes, both? we okay. actually get that a lot. So um, we have, when we host groups, we have two separate rooms, one for their chamber and one for their show choir, but most of the time, most of their chamber is in their show choir, so yeah. there's a lot of students that double. Sure. Yeah. That's actually one of the things I think is um, most exciting about hosting the competition is that we're welcoming groups from the more formal side for the chamber choirs and then also on Saturday heading to the show choirs and um, you get to see the talent that the students have whether they're running behind the stage and making it happen or performing or members of the band playing the music um, or singing in a more formally trained um, method we have students coming to our competition that literally do it all we watch them take off one hat and put on the other and the talent is immense um, so we're super proud to be hosting this and seeing all the groups in attendance do what they love doing are there a cappella groups as part of this as well I know there's an option there's not a specific category for a cappella groups but within the chamber and um, concert choirs I Groups have done a cappella pieces in the past, but there's not a specific division for them. Emerson, they said you were tech. What do you do? Yes. Um, so I'm this. I'm one of the stage managers. Um, and so basically, throughout the show, we're the ones that controlling the lighting. We're doing the sound. Um, we're do. We make all of our props at our school. Um, we also kind of just like corral the group, make sure in the, they're in the right place at the right time, and things like that. So you heard them. Yes, pretty much. So you can make sure that that Virginia school's microphone isn't quite working when it's their turn. That's the. Uh... I, no comment on that one. So you can neither confirm nor deny right, that. I, I understand. No. Yeah. Okay, so what's the admission charge to get in? So we have two different pricing Good, options. Good, pull that mic a little closer to you. Thank Mike. you so much. Uh, we have different pricing options depending on when you plan to attend. So they can attend on Friday only. Let's say they have a student or they really love more chamber type music. They could attend on Friday for $15 or they could come during the day on Saturday for $20. let us say that their group is performing later in the afternoon on Saturday, they could change their time of entry or they maybe could come for all Friday and all Saturday and then that's kind of a bulk price to save you a little bit and that's 30 so um, we just can't wait to see what all of the groups are bringing we showcase and perform at the end as exhibition we're not competing we are the hosts um, and I think one of the things that we love about hosting is that throughout the competition season we've gotten to know many of the groups that are now coming to our school um, and become familiar with their shows and fans of them ourselves so um, for example, the groups coming from Richmond, we've performed at their schools. And so now they get to come to us and we get to host them and welcome them and see them showcase what they love doing the way our students have been welcomed at their schools. How long has the Good Time Show Choir been in existence? Oh, over 40 years. Yeah. I know that. Yeah. It's it's um, one of the oldest show choirs in West Virginia. So mm -hmm. My mom was in it when she was younger. So. <laughs> Yeah, That's yeah. awesome. So uh, do you guys have any more trips coming up this year where you're going out of the area? Um, we have one more. Um, a busy last, like, hurrah for us. We have our home show this weekend, and then we head straight to Powhatan, Virginia, which is one of the schools coming to ours. We are going to theirs to compete for our very last competition of the year. Mm -hmm. Is that a day trip, or do you stay overnight? We'll stay overnight, yeah. And do you need, are you still fundraising for that, or do you have those bills paid for? Our, our biggest fundraiser of the year is this competition. Um, so we hope to see a lot of people there so they can enjoy the choirs, but it's also a big um, event for us and will help. We're seniors, so we want to leave um, we want to leave lots of opportunity for the year, for the group the year in years to come. You hope to leave a little bit of money left in the account too. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the goals of the competition. Yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, you had a big fall trip you guys did already this year. 
we did we went we've gone a few places but i would say our biggest one we went to um boston and new york city earlier this year which was really fun where'd oh, you perform perfect. in new york we didn't perform in new york city we, it was just like um a fun trip in new york city on our way to boston but we did perform right outside of boston um at shepherd hill high school as part of a competition, a larger competition? Yes, it was a competition. Well, that's fun. What are you doing after high school ends for you, Emerson? <laughs> um, I'm going to Shenandoah University, and I'm going to study theater design and production mm -hmm. with an emphasis in stage management and lighting engineering. Wow. Have you done any work in Shepherdstown during their big uh, I have not. No, I haven't. <laughs> and, and you, Riley? Um, yeah, after graduation, I plan to attend WVU, and... I want to study forensic psychology to be a profiler in the behavioral analysis unit in the FBI. Watch this, out, Josh. This is coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like another future fiction author. Yeah, or, or somebody does it for real. Yeah. And Meg, what are you doing after high school ends? <laughs> well, I'll be, I'll be happy to recover from missing these, these amazing students after mm -hmm. they're gone. Uh, senior year is a big milestone. I have a senior performer as well. And so we're just kind of soaking it all in. And next year, I'll be trying to forge a new path I think as we the, it's my youngest who's graduating so this will be a foray into a little bit of an empty nest at our house oh, wow. um, but I know where to find them and I know that big things are coming for all of our students and with the support of our community we know that we'll be leaving the group in in great stead for future yeah. years to come um, I think they are shining examples of what I mean when I say that they perform yeah. and also their academics and the leadership they show are excellent representations of Martinsburg High School and the students that you'll see performing um, and you see them leading in all other areas of our community as well. Do you plan to get involved in, in musical things while you're in college? That's what I'm going to school for, so okay. <laughs> I definitely will be. Um, I haven't decided yet. Maybe. <laughs> it depends. I'll have I'm a... hoping she will. Because <laughs> I, I would tell you that, that I, the stuff that Rob was talking about in terms of, of the, the TV stuff and, and all that, my my biggest memories and actually the things i went to william and mary and i was i was part of the choir there and we always toured we we did europe and that sort of thing the only people that i stay in touch with from my college years are the choir folks and we continue continue to stay mm -hmm. in touch those are such great times and they're such great bonding experiences together so to the degree that if if you pursue those artistic things through college, it's 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 wonderful. More than the academic stuff that I that I took with me, it's those experiences that stay with me. So I I, I really encourage you to do that. It also is evidence that uh, folks who are in choirs are much more tolerant than those who aren't. If that's who will stay in touch with you after you yeah. <laughs> this far out of and, college. And I because the regular had, school high school population didn't. They don't want to know. They have nothing to do with it. And I could have had a similar experience, except I was always disinvited. To sing, <laughs> I, I tried and That's it disinvited me. me so. yeah. Bill was disinvited from singing and also from French class. I think That's you, you exactly told right. us. Those and the dancing, things. I never even tried. <laughs> But you drive a mean boat. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> you drive a mean boat, yeah. All right, so uh, to recap, uh, when does everything start on Friday, Meg? Or if you'd like to pass that question down, that's fine, too. Would you like me to? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> our groups begin performing Friday at 5. So mm -hmm. That'll be our chamber choirs. And then Saturday, we kick off performances 8 at 8.30 a.m. And those will go all day. We'll begin Saturday morning with our middle school choirs um, and then continue all throughout the day for, through preliminaries. And then in the evening, groups will advance to finals. And it will be at? At Martinsburg, Martinsburg High, School, High School, right in our auditorium. Um, and we'll have concessions. We've got a coffee truck coming. So sure. you could enjoy an entire day. <laughs> and when you start to run a little low on energy, pop yeah, out for some yeah. coffee yeah. and recharge yeah, and so continue. Sure. Middle That's schoolers. <laughs> <laughs> middle schoolers spun up on coffee. <laughs> we could all use a little shot of caffeine as the day progresses. Yeah. It's an amazing day. Yeah. Our our group, Good Times, um, doesn't perform our show until the very end, probably around 930 this 930. year. So How long will your show better. last? How many minutes? Our, our show is only about 15, 20 minutes. So. How long are the others usually? Um, it's a limit of 25 minutes, and that's to get on and off stage. So mm -hmm. if you have set, it's it includes setting that up and everything. So the most a group could be is 25 30 minutes and what's the most number of performances a group might do over the weekend um powhatan is coming and they're bringing their um choirs on friday and their show choirs on saturday so they probably have the most amount of they're all girls people they come have, in they have an all girls right? yeah. and a mixed group and okay. then their chamber choirs how many boys do you have in the martinsburg good time show choir this year we've got quite a few so are we at nine or ten yeah, yeah. <laughs> a really strong number we've got a very balanced choir lots mm -hmm. of talent mm -hmm. 
Well, very good. Uh, if there was one thing that you would tell uh, somebody who's in seventh or eighth grade and thinking about maybe trying to audition for the Good Time Show Choir when they get to high school, what would you tell them, Emerson? I would tell them definitely do it. Um, at least try it. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to do it the next year. But it's such a great way. Um, we call it the GT family because we really are all so close. It's a great way to make friends as you're going into high school and have a place where you feel like you belong. So, Riley? Um, yeah, I, same as Emerson. Definitely do it. It definitely changed my life. Um, I wouldn't be where I am without the friendships and memories I've made in good times and it's just been such an amazing experience and I think I do think show choir is kind of underrated and mm -hmm. not a lot of people give it the credit and right. recognition it deserves and I, I think it's an amazing thing to do so well they should give it all kind of credit because I've seen you folks perform and you guys are <laughs> absolutely amazing and the, uh, the <laughs> folks the folks who instruct you and, and get you to the quality that you, your performances are do an amazing job with young people and I, I can't recommend your uh, to people to go to this enough because of how good you guys are it, it will really blow you away and the other schools coming in too the quality of the performances is, is amazing so best of luck to you folks thank you was covid your freshman year yes yes <laughs> so you, we did it online show yeah <laughs> we did a video show yes so you came in with that in the mm -hmm. high school yes and and you leave four years later what are your what are your impressions as you look back on what i'm sure probably went a lot faster than you thought it would be oh it's been such a great four years. We've had also a transition in directors um, from Miss Katie Schramm, yes, um, which is well known in the Good Times community, and then Miss um, Haley Cowan, who this is her second year, so last year was her first year, and she's doing a great job mm -hmm. as well. So, we've been really lucky with the um, directors that we've had, and our shows have done really mm -hmm. well and have been um, really great. And the the community aspect of Good Times has been really great as well. So. Mm -hmm. Riley? Um, yeah, it's when people say time flies, you usually <laughs> think it's like a cliche, but I, it's definitely, when I look back, I started show choir in elementary school, and now I'm in my senior year of show choir, and it's just like, wow, I, I never thought I'd actually yeah. be at senior year and right. graduating, so def time definitely does fly. And yeah, I, and you're like yeah. 17 or 18 saying that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait. Given time. <laughs> wait. Bill goes, wait. <laughs> yeah. uh, do you guys do anything else in high school, sports, or any other activities? Um, yeah. I actually was the captain on the Lady Bulldog soccer team this year. Um, and Emerson and I are both in many honor yeah. societies and clubs. <laughs> we wake up at 7 a.m. Monday you through Friday <laughs> to go to meetings. So we're definitely yeah. very involved yeah. in Martinsburg. And good, good Times is definitely what takes the most time, though. Yeah. We're so, like, we have practice several times a week, but we also meet as a class every single day. And it also takes a lot of, like, um, work outside of the time that we actually have together as a group of organizing this competition, making sure things run smoothly. So Good Times is definitely like our main focus, especially this time of year. Very nice. Meg, how do you get tickets to this? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 you, can, 30 seconds. you can come right to the door. We had we had pre-sales, but at this point, um, just to make things easier so that there's no logistical concerns, everybody can show up. We take cash and cards, and um, we'll be seeing people as they arrive on Friday and Saturday. Uh, no online sales. I, I believe they close online sales at All this done. point. Okay. Yes. Well, best of luck to you folks, and uh, I know you guys will be great because you always are. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Thank we sure yes. appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank yeah, you. very nicely done.